Welcome back. It's a beautiful day to be alive. Can I get a retweet? Retweet! Retweet! So excited because today we're at it again. We're back better than ever because today we're doing testing. What, what did I, hold on, what did I call the last video? Testing TikTok healthy snacks version two, baby. In remembrance of our first episode, Topo Chico time. Cheers it up. Givio. Boom. 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 <laughs> Today I have four recipes. Two of them are desserts. One's like a little appetizer and one's a meal. So we got some bomb recipes today. Plus I got me a snack. Some healthy alternatives. I don't like to call things healthy snacks. I like to call them healthier alternatives because everybody has their own definition of what healthy is. Am I right, Andy Lulu? Hoo hoo. Last time I did this video, I showed you guys the recipe with Topo Chico and Mio Energy Black Cherry to make our own Dr. Pepper, and I made a hot freaking mess. Uh oh. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Last time this exploded everywhere, so I'm gonna take it a little slower. Oh mm. my gosh. Why does it do that, my dude? You didn't take it slow. Cheese. 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 So stinking good. Tastes like a Dr. Pepper. Tastes like a Dr. Pepper. Woo! Let's begin. First episode, let me pull up my TikToks. You know, it's a good thing TikTok didn't get banned. Otherwise, this video would still exist because I saved the videos prior, but it would be a sad video. First recipe that I'm so excited. Healthy, healthy alternative. Three ingredient Samoas. Listen. <sighs> Girl Scout cookies, what's my favorite? Samoas, so I'm super excited. Today we're making healthy Samoas, so start with two mashed bananas. Two mashed and bananas. Then two cups of shredded coconut flakes. Then shredded coconut flakes. flakes. And then you're going to plop it onto some parchment paper and shape it into Samoa shapes. Then you bake it until they're nice and golden brown, drizzle some chocolate on top, and these are seriously amazing. Amazing. So I have two sets of bananas, okay? Two sets. I have some raw bananas and I have these bananas. I'm thinking these will be easier to mash, but this is the kind of bananas that I like more. Two mashed bananas. Stefan's making me use these ones. You know what? He was not wrong. They are perfect on the inside. Oh yeah, that's easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's how I like to say it, you know? All right, now we have two cups of shredded coconut flakes. I'm gonna like start small because two cups just seems excessive, doesn't it? The last time we did this, these TikToks, they didn't give good enough instructions. The TikToks I found this time, instructions. And when you're not a baker, like me, you need instructions. Cookie sheet, little parchment paper. I got these cookie sheets for my birthday this year. One of the, my best presents I've ever received. It's a little embarrassing to admit, but it is the truth. All she did was plot it onto the parchment paper and then put a little hole in it with her fingers to make it look like, you know, I'll tell you what, they are smelling amazing. I got my plops. Now we're gonna do the little holes. It's kind of gross. You know, this the holes, they seem, they seem optional here. It's just if you really want that Samoa feeling, you can add the holes. Oven's still preheating, so I'm gonna put these in the back. My next recipe also needs to be baked, so I'm just gonna get started on that one. I don't wanna play favorites, but this is now the second recipe from this girl I'm making. This is from the same TikToker. Is that what, we, what I call them, TikTokers? In the last video, I made her buffalo bites, the cauliflower buffalo bites. They were fan-freaking-tastic, okay? All I'm saying is her new videos have better instructions and she has five ingredient soft almond cookies so that's what we're making next vegan gluten-free and dairy-free she says it's five ingredients but if you add salt it's no big deal, no big deal. I'm excited. I did a little prep work before we began. First up, half a cup of almond flour. Boom, boom, boom. Two thirds cup of almond butter. Listen, in this household, we're not almond butter type of gal. So instead of buying a big jug of almond butter that was gonna go to waste, I got these little packets. I need, oh, that's it, in they go. Hey Siri, hey Siri. Hey Siri, like I was saying, we're not almond, I'm not an almond butter type of gal, so I got these three packets. I need 100 grams of almond butter. I only have 96. Wish me luck, wish me luck. 
Maybe I take out a little almond flour in that case, you know? One fourth cup of maple syrup. Boom. Right. One teaspoon of almond extract. Smells delicious. All right. Half a teaspoon of bacon powder. Boom. All right, we're gonna mix it all together, roll it into balls. This bottle is like almond butter. Too difficult to work with. You know what I'm saying? Check on the Samoas. Looking wonderful. We're gonna roll the balls, and then we're gonna flatten the balls. And then she said optional, flaky salt or chocolate chips. The Samoas need chocolate, so I'm gonna already open up the chocolate chips, so we might as well, you know, top a little chocolate chips on these. This is very sticky. How the heck, Bob, am I supposed to roll this? I say we add a little bit, a little pinch more of almond flour. Instead of rolling it, let's just plop it. I'm gonna plop it. Ooh, you know what? Looks like the extra flour, it worked. All right, I'm gonna add a few chocolate chips on top. These are like baby chocolate chips, so I think it'll be fun. Pop, pop. Pop them on top. A little cluster of these bad boys. That is looking nice. So right now we are at six ingredients because I am adding the chocolate chips. Almond butter, almond flour, maple syrup, almond extract, baking powder. Yeah, we're at six. If you're looking for some dairy-free chocolate chips, this Enjoy Life brand is really good. All right, lovely. This one, 350 for 12 to 14 minutes. All right, timer just went off for the Samoas. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think they're done, okay? All right, she said slightly, lightly golden, and I think they're almost there. Maybe five more minutes. They're getting there. They're a little crispy on top. Boom. I really gotta stop booming. All right, my Samoas have been in the oven for 30 minutes now. I think they're ready. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's crispy, that's golden. So now I'm gonna drizzle some chocolate on top. To be fair, in her TikTok she said 20-ish minutes. Mine took 30, but at least that's in the ish area, you know? Chocolate's melted. It really smell like samalas. That's nice. I'm really struggling with the drizzle. Oh, golly. Mine are more a little clumpy. Listen, we all know that I'm not a chef. I'm not a baker. I can't even drizzle chocolate. Now, the samalas are out of the oven. The almond flour cookies are going into the oven. 350, 12 to 14 minutes. Superb. Let's move on, shall we? You know, there's just some people that are so obsessed with their air fryer. They're just air fryer people. That's not me. A lot of you probably already have done this recipe. Air fryer french fries. Let's do it. You won't believe how easy it is to make these crispy french fries in the air fryer. First, cut up your potatoes and remove all the moisture with a paper towel. Add olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and paprika. And the trick to making extra crispy is the little flour. Air fry 15 minutes, 375. Try it, you might like it. I did a lot of prep work before we filmed because last time I filmed this video, I was here for like 80 hours, okay? So I've already cut up my potatoes and I have dried them with my paper towel. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, McDonald's? No, Whitney's Kitchen. All right, a little bit of olive oil, a little drizzle, a little drizz drizz. I come for the taste tests. Nothing to taste test yet. Okay, Salt, how much pep you want? It, you know, they don't give measurements, just a little. A little pap? Little garlic? Little paprika? Garlica? Just no. garlic. Boom. 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 Highly recommend having another person. All right, little paprika. Boom. Then these bad boys are Boom. fully covered. So here's the tea, okay? She says her magic ingredient is flour. So this is gluten-free flour. Gluten-free does not mean it's healthier. So you guys know, I can't eat gluten. That's the only reason why I go gluten-free. Lovely. A little flour. Mix that bad boy up. We're gonna pop out the air fryer. Pop this air fryer for a few years now. Move over to the air fryer. I think she did 375. See, that's the problem with these TikToks. You gotta watch them a million times to like know what the heck a mob's going on. 375 for 15 minutes. All right, for our final TikTok, this one I found very intriguing. I will be making hummus, oh, quesadillas. hummus quesadillas in less than five minutes. She says she makes them every day. Like four times this week already. They're four times this week already. They must be really good. So easy and totally addictive. All you need is some hummus and some tortillas. These are grain free ones from Siete, but any kind works. And then you're just gonna spread a thin layer of hummus on one side of both tortillas. You can add pretty much any toppings you want. I went for some sliced red onions and some chopped up spinach and then a little bit of paprika on top, which just adds a little, I don't know, zest and pop and a little bit of spice and then some. Zest and pop and spice. I like all three of those. Five grains of salt, of course. And then you just put the tortillas together so the hummus sides are touching and drizzle some olive oil into a pan on high heat. Cook it until it's brown and toasty on both sides and that's it. It's literally that easy. The hummus gets all melty and gooey like cheese, but it's dairy free and packed with protein. You gotta try. 
All right, Liz Moody. Liz Moody, let's try this one out. Why don't you go dairy free? You miss out on the finer things in life, like a quesadilla. A crunch wrap supreme. supreme. I can't go to Taco Bell anymore. I'm gonna be using Siete flour tortillas. I love these. You guys know I love these. Boom. Let's do this. Liz used roasted garlic hummus, so I'm using roasted garlic hummus. You know Liz? Liz? Yeah. yeah, me and Liz, uh, we're friends on TikTok. No. She doesn't know who I am. She says hummus on both sides. That was confusing at first. I thought she was only doing it on one side. Thin layer of hummus. Thin layer, thin layer, thin layer. All right, moving on. Just like my friend, Liz Moody, I have some red onion and spinach. Like Liz, I'm gonna add some red onions. You know what? I have a feeling I'm gonna be so obsessed with this and like Liz, I will also be having it four times a week, don't you think? Chopped spinach. Mm -hmm. Put the quesadilla together. Boom. All right, she cooks this in olive oil on high, so that's going off. I gotta open up my quesadilla. I closed her up way too soon. We add, oh, salt, and more paprika. <clears throat> paprika. Okay, my olive oil is warmed up. Hummus quesadilla on deck. Listen, I got a TikTok addiction. I love it. I waste my precious time when I should be sleeping. I'm watching TikToks. If I back it up, is it fat enough? When I break it down, is it fast enough? Are those the words? I'm wearing a skirt today. I'm trying to bring skirts back into fashion. Little skirt moment. Wait, could you see it? There we go. I know you saw it that time. It's a skirt in the front and shorts in the back. It's a skirt. It's a skirt. You know what? These are my favorite kind of videos. I get to eat. Oh, what's better than eating? Five more minutes to go on the french fries. My quesadilla is falling apart a little bit, but I think we're gonna be okay. Quesadilla is ready. All right, I know you don't like avocado, but my friend Liz, she puts avocado on top. Shout out Liz. All right, check this out, check this out, check this out. Delicious. All right, Stefan doesn't like avocado, so I left his quesadilla, his half of the quesadilla, without avocado. I added a little avocado. You better walk a little faster, because I'm starving. Oh, man. That's ranch. Liz. Liz! Air fried fri french fries right here. I'm out of ketchup, but I do have a little bit of ranch left over from the last video, actually. Quesadillas, great. Out of 10, what would you say? The french fries are a little weird to me, but the quesadilla? Definitely recommend the quesadilla. Out of a 10, it's a 10. That ro roasted garlic hummus. She's right, it kind of does get like a little cheesy, like a melted mm -hmm. cheesy vibe, you know? I thought there was cheese in this. French fries are a five for me. How about for you? I'd say six. I think I want to leave off the flour next time. There was no need for the flour. Yeah, I'm not vibing with the French fries. That quesadilla was the best thing I've ever had, though. Thank you for allowing me in Wit's Kitchen. Oh, we have more. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Stefan just said that the almond flour cookies look sad. Yep. Too doughy for me. But how good does the Samoa look? Okay, here we have the Samoa. 10 out of 10. Smells good. 10 out of 10. What is that? Two ingredients plus the chocolate, three ingredients? Samoa's good. So good. Two hits, two misses. The cookies, the Samoas. I hope you guys had a blast in Wit's Kitchen. The Samoa's so good. I'm not like the biggest fan of the almond flour cookies. Right, too much almond flour. They're not terrible, but. As Wit's number one tester. Two hits, two misses? Two hits, two misses. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's YouTube video testing healthier alternative snacks on TikTok. A lot of you guys have been sending me TikToks that you want me to try in the next video. So please send more. I'll do them all. I really love these videos. So maybe our next one should just be a desserts one. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be fun. I love you guys so much. And until next time, I will see you next time.